uh, welcome back to this course. So, today we will discuss uh, uh, lecture 8. So, in the previous lecture we have discussed about the rounding of error and the chopping of error. So, to, today we will go further and we will discuss the measure of errors in in approximation of a number. So, they are basically we generally calculate three type of errors. So, the first one is the absolute error. So, absolute error is we write is a e. So, this is equal to x that is a number and x star we have taken the approximation of that number. So, that is the called the absolute error. The second one will go for relative error. So, the relative error means it gives you the error corresponding to the given number. So, this can be written as x minus x star and I am dividing it by either x if the x is there or we can write as or x minus x star by x star. So, this is the relative error corresponding to exact number and this is the corresponding to the approximate number because my x is the exact x, exact value and my x star is the approximate value. So, this is a approximate value and the third one is the percentage error. So, percentage error we call it P e. So, this is relative error multiplied by 100. So, it gives you that how much percentage the error is there in the given computation. So, now uh, we will start further and let us do the errors in in the arithmetic operations like we have a suppose we have two numbers like I have a number x 1 and this we represent by approximate by the number x 1 star and I know that some error is there. So, let E 1 is the error involved in the x 1. Similarly, I have another number x 2 that is also we have approximated and that has some error that is called the E 2. So, what I do what will happen? So, let I will take the first one suppose we add these two numbers. So, addition now what will happen if I add this number x 1 and x 2. So, let us see this one. So, if I add this number x 1 plus x 2. So, this number I can write as x 1 star plus e 1 plus x 2 star plus e 2. So, this is my number. Now, x 1 plus x 2 minus. So, I can take this number x 1 star plus x 2 star on the left hand side. On the right hand side I have only e 1 plus e 2 left. Now, I take the modulus value. So, this modulus value by the uh, triangle law I can reduce this one to less than equal to E 1 modulus of E 1 plus modulus of E 2. So, from here I can say that the absolute error in this in the addition. So, absolute error that is equal to x 1 plus x 2 the addition of the number is always less than the summation of the modulus of the corresponding absolute error in the number x 1 and x 2. So, this gives me the not the exact value, but from if uh, from here you can see that this gives me the upper bound. So, that is the upper bound. Upper bound means 
in this case my if I add two numbers and there is some errors in the numbers already errors in the number then the maximum errors can happen in the addition of the number is always is less than equal to the modulus of the error in the corresponding numbers. So, that is gives me the upper bound. So, for example, I take a number x 1 is equal to 0 0.1237 into 10 is to power 3. Another number I take x 2 is equal to 0 0.4561 into 10 is to power 2. So, I have two number and let, so I write x 2 as because in this case I should have the same power of x. So, I will write 0 point, so this one can be written as 0 0.04561 into 10 is to power 3. So, this one is I can write this number as because I have added 1 0 there. Now, I both the numbers have the same power. Now, suppose I take approximate value of this x 1 star and I suppose I round off this number at the third place and similarly I round off the number at third place. So, if I round off the number at third place I will get 0 0.124 into 10 raised to power 3. So, this is the number we got and my x 2 star is 0 0.04 6 into 10 is to power 3. So, that is the number we got. So, in this case suppose I want to find uh, my x 1 plus x 2. So, this will be, so this is the number we got if I add x 1 plus x 2. Now, if I add x 1 star plus x 2 star. So, x 1 star plus x 2 star will be 0, 4, 6, 7 and 1 to 10 is power 3. So, this is the number we got from x 1 plus x 2 star. Now, suppose I want to find x 1 plus x 2 minus x 1 star plus x 2 star. So, this is the number I want to find. So, this will be equal to minus so this is equal to so it will be so this is the bigger number so from here i can uh, calculate this value so this will be point so 931 so 170 is 931 so this one can be written as point zero zero 0 6 9 into 10 raised to power 3. So, that is the value we got the errors when we add these two numbers. Now, I want to see that what will happen if I calculate the error in x minus x 1 minus x 1 star. So, x 1 minus x star, so this is the number 1, 2, 3, 7, 0 minus 1, 2, 4, 0, 0 into 10 is power 3. So, it has a 400, so 370. So, it is 0 0.0003 0, 0, into 10 is power 3. So, that is the error we got in the, so this is my E1 and x2 minus x2 star so, this is my x 2. So, 0 0.04561 minus 0 0.04600 into 10 raised to power 3. So, in this case it is 600 and 561. So, it is point I can call it point 0 0.00039 because this 
600 minus 561 is 39 and before that is 2 0. So, this is the into 10 is to power 3. So, that is my E 2. So, from here I can say what is my E 1 plus E 2. So, E 1 is plus 0 0.00039 0 0 into 10 is to power 3. So, it is point zero 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 so three zero. So, it is 6 9 into 10 is to power 3. So, that is the maximum error it can happen when we do the addition. So, that is the answer we have. So, that is the error happened in the term of x 1 and plus x 2. So, I think this calculation is ok and we can move further. So, then so this is the cal, uh, addition we have done and we got this error in the addition. Now, we next one we go for the subtraction. So, suppose we have a two numbers the same number and I want to subtract x 1 minus x 2. So, this one can be written as x 1 star plus e 1 minus x 2 star plus e 2. So, from here I can write x 1 star minus x 2 star plus e 1 minus e 2. So, from here I can write that x 1 minus x 2 minus x 1 star minus x 2 star. So, in this case I am taking the subtraction of two numbers. So, this will be equal to e 1 minus e 2. So, by the triangle law it can be written as e 1 plus e 2. So, it has the upper bound for the subtraction. Similarly, in the case of addition we have seen. So, that is the absolute error in this case. The third one is what will happen if we do the multiplication. Because if you see in the last in the previous also the maximum error E 1 and E 2 was 0 0.0069 and if I taken the error in this case, so that was also coming 0 0.0069. So, it is by chance that these two numbers are coming, but definitely this error cannot be bigger than this one because this is the upper bound we have, we can have. So, that is the upper bound we can have in this case. So, in the multiplication what we will do? Suppose I want to calculate what is the x 1 into x 2. So, this one I want to calculate and we want to see that how the error will propagate if we multiply the two numbers. So, this is x 1 can be written as x 1 star plus e 1 <coughs> x 2 star plus e 2. So, this is the number we have. If I multiply this one, so it can be written as x 1 star into x 2 star plus x 1 star e 2 plus e 1 x 2 star plus e 1 plus e 2. So, now in this case we know that the error is always very small. So, e 1 is very very small, e 2 is also very very small. Then from here I can say that e 1 and e 2 is very much small as compared to e 1 and e 2. So, this two value is very small and we can ignore this value. So, we can ignore this one. So, from here I can write that x 1 into x 2 minus. So, this factor I will take on the left hand side. On the right hand side I will get x 1 star e 2 plus e 1 x 2 star. So, this will got. Now, suppose I take the modulus of this then it is not going to give any information because the right hand side vector is also dependent on so i can write like this one but in the right hand side vector it is also dependent on x1 star and x2 star so we cannot make any conclusion in the terms of the absolute error so in this case what you do 
I will try to find the relative error. So, what I do is I will divide it by the number x2 x1 star into x2 star and then I take the modulus. So, this one I can write as x1 star e2 divided by x1 star x2 star plus e1 x2 star x1 star plus x2 star not plus it is multiplication. So, that is equal to x 1 star x 2 star. So, this will cancel out. So, from here I can write that this should be equal to e 1 by x 1 star plus e 2 by x 2 star and that is what is this it is the relative error in x 1 and this is the relative error in x 2. So, from here I can say that the relative error in x 1 x 2 is less than equal to relative error in x 1 plus relative error in x 2. So, that is the we can have the upper bound in the relative error when we multiply the two numbers. So, this is we have done for the multiplication and the last one we can do the division. So, what will happen in the division? Now, let I divide the number x 1 by x 2. So, in this case what we will do? This can be written as x 1 star plus e 1 divided by x 2 star plus e 2. Now, I can take the number x 1 common from the numerator and x 2 star from the denominator. So, this will become 1 plus e 1 by x 1 star and this one can be written as 1 plus e 2 by x 2 star. So, this can be written as now I can write as a x 1 star x 2 star and this one I can write as a x 1 star 1 plus e 2 x 2 star inverse. So, this number I can take and now this number is this is a binomial. So, I can expand this one using binomial expansion. Expansion, but I will ignore the higher power of. So, ignoring the higher power of of e 1 or e 2 or e 1 into e 2. So, like this one I can ignore. So, from here I can write x 1 star x 2 star. So, 1 plus e 1 by x 1 star 1 minus e 2 by x 2 star and all other term will carry the higher power. So, that we can ignore and then we can do the further calculation. So, this will it will be 1 plus e 1 by x 1 star minus e 2 by x 2 star and then minus of e 1 e 2 x 1 star x 2 star. So, this one I can ignore because it is gives the value of e 1 and 2 which become a very small quantity. So, from here I can write my x 1 over x 2. So, I will take this quantity on the left hand side. So, this will become x 1 star over x 2 star. On the right hand side I will get this x 1 star will cancel out. So, I will get e 1 over x 2 star minus and here I will get x 1 star e 2 divided by x 2 star whole square. So, in this case also the if I want to find the absolute error it is not going to give any upper bound because it is dependent on this one. So, in this case I will what I will do I want to find the relative error. So, I will divide this by x 1 star over x 2 star. So, I will divide this number by this x 1 star over x 2 star. So, this number will give you. So, that is and then I will take the absolute value. So, this on the left hand side it gives the relative error in 
x1 by x2. On the right hand side, if you see this will divide by this, so x2 will cancel out, it will give you e1 over x1 star from here minus, so this one x1 will cancel out, so it will give you only e2 by x2 star. So, that is the number we got in this case. So, this is 1 plus, so this is the 1 I have taken on the left side and this. So, that can be written as E1 over X1 star plus E2 over X2 star. So, this can be written as relative error in X1 plus relative error in X2. So, by using this one, we can define that the relative error in x1 divided by x2 is always less than equal to the relative error in x1 plus relative error in x2. So, in this way we can find the upper bounds on the on the relative error in when we divide the number x1 by x2. So, these numbers we are always uh, gives the upper bound. The next thing we can give a that how the calculation is, when we do the calculation, how the number of uh, significant digits can be lost. So, this is, the, I give the one example that loss of significant digit. So, that is also comes as a numerical instability. So, what is the numerical instability? Because sometimes we do the calculation, we know that at each times we start doing the computation, the, we are multiplying the two numbers, subtracting the two number, dividing the two numbers. So, in this case the whatever the at the starting we introduce some rounding of error or the chopping of error. So, that errors will grow as we do the computation. So, it depends that sometime it will happen that then my results will beco becomes unbounded or it becomes tends to diverse. So, in that case we say that the our computation is numerically instable. Otherwise, if it is giving the correct answer then it will we call it the numerical stable. So, how will happen? So, this is the one uh, form I can say that first one is the we call it bad subtraction. So, what is the bad subtraction? Suppose I have a number, one number is x1, approximate number and another number is x2. Only thing is that x1 and x2 is the, of the same magnitude. Then sometime it will happen if I subtract one number from the another number and both the number are of the same magnitude, then what will happen? We lose some significant digit. So, in this case, it is called the bad subtraction. For example, Suppose I take a number x1 star is some number I am taking, it is uh, 178 uh, 17, into 10 raised to power maybe 2, suppose I write and another is y2 star or x2 star that is another number and that is 0 equal to 1784. 3 9 into 10 raised to power 2. So, suppose this is the two number and if you see that this number have the same magnitude, it is 1.1786, it is 0.1784 and the same power of 10 raised to power this. So, these two numbers are the same magnitude and suppose I want to do subtraction. So, if I do the subtraction in this case, what I will get? I will uh, subtract from here. So, it will be 4, 5, 2 and then 0, 0, 0, 0 into 10 is to power 2. So, in this case, if I, if you see from here that my number in this numbers, I have a sig 6 significant digits, digits. In this also, we have a 6 uh, 6 significant digits, but in this case I can write this number as 
4 into 10 is to power 2 was already there and I will write it is 10 is to power minus 3. Okay. So, in this case what will happen? I will lose my significant digit. So, now this number has 3 n digits. So, earlier I started with the 6 significant digits and now I deal with the number that has a 3 significant digits. So, this number is 0.254 into 10 is to power minus 1. So, from here I can say that I this is a loss of 3 significant digits. So, this is all about uh, that how the error grows or how we can find out the upper bounds of the error when we do the subtraction, addition, multiplication and division of the two numbers. So, in this uh, we have discussed about that how we can also lose the in the computation how a significant digit can be lost. So, this is all about in this lecture. Uh, thanks very much. In the next lecture we will go for further. Thanks very much. Mm -hmm.